زمانيال بالاس ميوزيوم most think that place belong to Muhammad Ali Pasha Sultan once on Egypt before but this place belong to Prince Muhammad Ali Taufik Prince Muhammad Ali Taufik is the son of Kedef Muhammad Taufik and the brother of Kedef Abbas Helmi too. He was born in Cairo in 1875 and became the crown prince with Aziz Ezzat Pasha and Sharif Sabri Pasha between the deaths of King Fuad I and his cousin take the throne until he reaches to the legal age to can rule Egypt. He built the palace in 1903 in January until 1937 inside the palace there are seven buildings and our tour is beginning now The clock tower. The prince had it built to the famous tower in Andalusia. It had a clock of the same kind as his brother. The Kedef Abbas Helmi II placed at the Cairo railway station with the only difference being that the two armies of the clock took the shape of two serpents. Under the clock tower, there is a mosque with coffee lines. It's amazing, and I will give time to see how wonderful they could root with coffee lines on the walls The exterior of the palace's mosque is covered with various 
decorative parents and Arabic calligraphy. The curses of the Makari, the seat of Quran reciter, the big chair in the middle of the mosque, is located in western and it, it's made of woods and decorated with gilded Quran verses. The entrance of the mosque is into two sessions. The minbar pulpit and the mirab are located in the one in the eastern one on the right the second building is the residence right this is the oldest building in the palace and it is the prince house it is contains two floor the ground floor which it has the fountain hell el shakma the dining room the bird salon the mirror hell the harem room and the blue salon the upper floor contains the Arabian room the princess bedroom the jewel room and bathrooms of the prince some informations about every room I felt shock when I find out that the prince used the fountain to cover on his conversations with big people in country when they give him important information so that the sound of water from fountain covered on what they say to him that smart mindset the mirroring room and the kashma room was the story behind them and was the story about them in prince's time egypt was not allowed to women to stay with men in the same room so in parties there is a room for only women called el kashma and the ground floor to only men so if women want to get out from El Kashma room or to want to know what happened outside the room there was a mirror putting in the ground room in exactly position that can reflect to women to see what happened outside the El Kashma room so if they hearing a high voice or something out the, outside their rooms they only need to open the door the Kashma's door and look to mirror 
to see the reflection of what happening outside the room so he give the woman the thief and in the same time not putting them in a prison called room to can stay connect with what happened outside and in the same time they not doing something wrong against their culture the most unique thing in Kashmir room there is a fireplace in the right of the photo this fireplace ended with a shape of pyramids I know also that the prince is who designed everything in the palace with himself so the ideas in Kashma room was that it can use in summer and winter the window can open in the summer and give them a wonderful air because the position of the room in positions that not allowed to have a lot of sun and heat inside the room and the woods of the room not feeling women with hot and the, the winter the wood of the room gives them the warm so he can give them the comfortable in every season the tour guide that told me everything he told me that the books in this photo was the first permittive air conditioning in Egypt and the prince made it with himself.